You know, everybody knows the Holy Temple was destroyed because we didn't love each other. You know, when you hate somebody, you think you have a reason. But, you know, the Torah says, the sisno is the chicho bilbobecho. When you hate somebody, you're angry, you have to tell them. Because most of the time, it's just a misunderstanding. You never know. So here's my story. Somewhere in Europe, without mentioning names, there's a Basmandush. I'm walking in, and they're just beginning Shaykh and Ad. Ay vey, the Chazan has no voice. But not only no voice, no voice, you know, Mahmush. He has a no voice. And he can't read Hebrew. He doesn't know the words, no nigun. It was clear to me, Moshkabri is a rich man. Maybe he has God said after his mother-in-law, and we have to suffer. He gives hundred dollars for the shoe, and they let him down. I thought, this is disgusting. Mom, is disgusting. Anybody for money can down for the Umar, you know, it's the end of the world. So I decided, I'm not davening with this minion. I'm going in a corner for myself and daven. Okay, but what can you do when it comes to Kedusha? You have to, you have to say Kedusha with the minion, right? And Mama, she turned my kishkas over. He said, Vim Koimcho, Sophia, Mosai, and then he said, Tzitkecha. I couldn't believe that the people tolerate this. Now you have to open your hearts again. You know, when it comes to taking out the tyrant, if you want to or not, you go up there to kiss the holy tyrant. So I'm walking up to the bima, and suddenly I see that here is the chazan, and two people are holding him. I asked the person next to me, why are two people holding him? And they said to me, don't you know who this is? This is the blind cousin from Lemberg. Before the war, he had the most, most, most beautiful tenor. And all of Poland was coming to Lemberg just to hear him daven. But Lemberg, he was five years in Auschwitz. When I looked at his face, I could see Lemberg. He had no more eyes, just scars over his eyes from the whipping. And Lemberg, he lost his voice. And he didn't want to dive and he says, I don't know the words and I can't sing anymore. But the Yidin says, we remember you from Lemberg. Please, just one more time. Please. Who can bring our, all our prayers, all our pain before God, if not you? I mean, can you imagine how he was davening? If I live a thousand years, I will never daven in Yom Kippur like he on that Shabbos morning. Thought to myself, where are my ears? This Yid was davening. Who knows where his prayers reached? And I didn't even have the guts to daven with him. But you know, my beautiful friends, whenever you're at the end, then God has compassion upon you, and something happens, and someone gives you back your neshama. As he was coming down with the Torah, two people were holding him. As he passed me by, instead of kissing the Torah, I kissed his hand. And uh, he said to the people who are holding him, who kissed my hand? So they told him, Shlami Kabach. And suddenly he turned number his blind eyes to me. And he said, hey, Schleimele, I like you in a good oh, Gave me back my soul. I stayed there for next week, and every day I took him out on the boardwalk, 
for long walks. What I eat, what I eat. Few months later, I called up, his wife was on the phone. And I said to her, so, how is the Heilige Chazen? I called up and his wife was on the phone. And I asked her, how is your holy husband? How is the Heilige Chazen? And this is what she said. Don't you know, my husband has a new position. He came again, the cousin, in a gun Eden. He is again the cousin in gun Eden. We saw the tradition, saw the holy people. <laughs> I know. 